Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at the into the disappearance of Michelle Ann Baker. And the photo on the right is cool. The photo on the left kind of it's eerie. It's she was 25 years old, five foot two, 130 to 150 pounds. She had multiple dysentery. She smoked Camel cigarette. She was wearing a Camel T-shirt when she went missing. Um, she was able to walk, but she was classified as disabled. She might have used the last name Saffold or Wright. It says, you can pause it to read it in different places if you want to. It says she took a sleeping bag and blankets with her when she left and it's never been heard from again. But you know, if she died somewhere or something happened to her outside somewhere and somebody killed her, and they probably would have left her body there, right? I don't understand. Um, she was last seen when she dropped off an application at the Beneficial Home Health Care. That was October 20th, 1993. Where, what did she do with the blanket? She received monthly disability checks at the time of her disappearance. She didn't pick up her check for November. Um, she lived most of her life in Spokane or Seattle. Her case is unsolved. So I, maybe she hitchhiked with somebody. I don't know. I feel like we're missing a lot of information. If you know anything, give them a call. Let them know. But that's very sad. Um, so for Jane Doak, if you're looking for Jane Doe's, there's a lot of information here. Like she had um, previously broken her fingers. She has an overbite. So things like that with a multiple dystrophy in her height and weight. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Prayers for her loved ones and her family. Have a great day. Bye-bye.